Hi, this is Rodrigo from Take Right Action, and today is the number nine of the 90 day challenge, getting close to the 10. <laughs> so, the question that I have today is that how do you build uh, everlasting relationships with your freelancers? Uh, do you use Odisk? Do you use anything else? Like, and yeah, uh, between all the platforms that there are, there are Elance, uh, Freelancer, People Per Hour, Guru.com, Odesk, uh, there are a, a ton of options. There is Workana, again, if you are Latin American and you need people who speak Spanish, go to fucking Workana. However, uh, the thing is that building everlasting relationships with uh, freelancers is not something that you can do by yourself. Yeah, huge part it is. I mean, you are responsible for your actions. But you gotta understand as well that there is a part of every freelancer as well. And there are some freelancers who you will meet, who look good, who, who have amazing portfolio, but their people skills, they suck. They simply suck. And there are others who will start working good for you and then they will start to dwindle. And this is bad. Uh, you don't want to build long relationships with a freelancer that is going to say, like, I'm going to do the work today, and you come today, and then you don't see the work done. I mean, you you will need the you need the right people. And um, yeah, what you can do is put the right attitude, so you can it will connect to the right people. However. Yeah, there will, and especially when you are starting, there will be people who will start working for you, and then they will start to uh, to flake. They will start uh, not answering your messages, uh, not connecting a lot, not doing the work when they are supposed to be done. And all this brings the this platform where they, you can see how many hours they have worked. You can see their screenshots and all that shit. And this is the thing. I mean. You need freelancers who who will work for you, and you don't, you cannot let yourself uh, choose a freelancer that is not working. Simple as that. So part of building uh, long relationships, you can always ask for their Skype and communicate with them through Skype. Uh, but also, it will need it will only you need, you need the right attitude, but you need also the right people. And if the freelancer you get is not the right one for you, then fire him. Simple as that. This is business. You should not put your emotions into this. That is why majority of people are doing so bad with money. Because they put their emotions into it. Business is a system. Money is a tool. And if the system doesn't work, you lose money. And that is the tool that you need to build your dream of. So... When you find the right freelancer, when you find the right people, you won't need to be pushing them to work. You won't need to be there to have like this long relationship and all that. Also, you need not to be an asshole. <laughs> you, uh, I hope you are not going to be treating them like shit or paying them like shit. I mean, if the guy is good and you are getting like $10,000 projects because of him, Give him a fucking raise, man. <laughs> just, just give him a fucking raise. Uh, treat him with respect. Uh, do not be on top of him every fucking hour. Uh, people need to concentrate for long periods of time. So one, one, one hour a day is more than enough to communicate with him and to let him do the work. Again, that is if he is the right person. If you need to be on top of him, like, do the work, do the work, do the work, that is not the right person for you, fire his ass. But if he is, or she is, the right person for you, then you only need one hour, like, okay, what has been done, this is the task that I need you to do this day, let's go do it. And you come to the next day and everything will be done. And if you treat them with, with respect, if you let this guy who, this guy who is good, who is fucking good, who is fucking awesome, who is working for you, and you are interrupting him, that is, he's not going to work well. You are breaking his, uh, his concentrations, his focus. So you need to leave him his space. Find a good guy, give him his space, uh, 
treat him with respect and when you can do it give him a fucking raise <laughs> like wh whenever you can do that do it I, I mean do, do not try to put it there because there are a lot of talent there and, there and if you fail to recognize that you have a talent there will be another guy who will recognize that he is a talent he is going to pay him more than you and he's going to go then you're going to be found with the task of finding another good job like I mean another f good good guy for the job and that is hard that it will take time you will fail a couple of times before you get one that does work for you you have to understand that so when you find the right guy treat him with respect give him time pay him good and everything will work out fine and add him to Skype and chat with him <laughs> so this is pretty much how you build like long-standing relationships with your freelancers go fucking and do it go hustle